Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're diving into the world of voice and video calling applications with an amazing service called Zigo Cloud. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned developer, I'll be guiding you through the process of building your very own calling app on iOS from scratch with very few lines of code. So what exactly is Zigo Cloud? Let me give you a brief overview. Zigo Cloud is the world's leading real-time interaction platform, providing video, voice, and chat APIs. Using Zigo Cloud, you can easily add communication capabilities to your apps and boost user engagement. They have a wide variety of SDKs, providing a range of services such as voice and video calling, live streaming, in-app chats, AI effects, etc. The best part is, they provide every bit of customization you could think of with their SDKs. But don't worry. If you want to just quickly get up and running, you can use their custom UI kits. UI kits provide ready-made components, so you don't have to build stuff from scratch and get up and running in the shortest time possible. By the way, did I mention that all of these are open source, easily customizable, and cross-platform? So you could build for one platform and deploy to multiple platforms. How cool is that? They also have extensive documentation that is developer-friendly and their support is best in the business for all your developer and customer needs. So do check out Zigo Cloud. All the links are in the description as well as the pinned comment. Make sure to sign up and receive 10,000 free minutes. Before we begin, give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's get started. Click sign up. Enter your basic details. Enter a valid email ID to receive a verification code. Click on Start Your Free Trial. You will now see your dashboard, but before that, you need to enter a few more details so that Zigo Cloud can suggest suitable products. Click on Go to Dashboard. Now, click on Create Your First Project. Here we see different use cases such as voice and video call, video conference, live streaming, etc. For our project, select the Voice and Video Call option, then click Next. Enter a project name. We will choose to start with the UI Kits option. If you see here, you'll notice sample code for different platforms. Wait for the project to be created. Here we see the different platforms to choose from. To integrate Zigo Cloud, we're interested in the iOS platform, so let's select that. On the right side, you'll see add-on options for one-on-one -on -one call as well as group call. Note that some of the more premium features are paid. We'll stick to the default options, select one-on-one -on -one call, then scroll down and select save and start to integrate on the bottom right. Next, you'll see the app configuration screen. It contains confidential information for your app to work, such as your app ID and app sign credentials. We'll be using them shortly. Click on Quick Start. Next, open Xcode and create a new project. Select the storyboard option for interface type. Next, open Terminal and change directory to the root of your project folder. We'll now install the Zigo Cloud dependencies using CocoaPods. First, initialize CocoaPods with the pod init command. This will create a pod file at the root level. Open it in a text editor. Copy the dependency from the Quick Start page and paste it into the pod file. Save and close the pod file, then switch back to Terminal to run the pod install command. This will download and install the dependencies. Once
Once the dependencies are installed, switch to Xcode and close the project. Open the project, but this time using the XC workspace file going forward. Copy the import statements and paste them at the top of the viewcontroller.swift file. Copy and paste the variables. We'll assign these values in a while. Copy and paste the button action code that creates and launches the call screen. Create two variables to pass in the app sign, an app ID. We'll create a random, uniquely generated user ID for each user. Remove the username variable. We'll allow the users to enter their own username via a text field. Unwrap the username variable and pass it into the view controller. We'll also dismiss the keyboard when the user presses the call button. We'll now create a simple UI for the user to enter a username and a button to join the call. Add fixed width, height, and vertical constraints to the text label. Add fixed width, height, and vertical constraints to the text field. Add a button with fixed width, height, and vertical constraints centered in the view. Hook up the IB outlet to the text field and the make new call action to the button.
In order to access the camera and the microphone, we need to request permissions in the info.plist file. So let's do that. Let's give the call ID a value of 1000. This call ID will be used for participants to join a call. Finally, copy and paste the app ID and app sign values from the app configuration page and assign them to the variables. Now let's run the app in a simulator instance. Let's enter a username and hit the Join Call button. We now see the call screen with our username displaying at the bottom, along with floating controls for video, camera switcher, audio controls, and a button to end the call. Since this is the simulator, we won't see any video, so let's run the app and join the call from an actual device. Here I've opened QuickTime to view my iPhone screen. The app should launch on the device any second now. Let's give a different username for our device participant and join the call. Click OK when prompted to give access to the camera and microphone. What you're seeing is the camera feed from my iPhone. Let's do a sound check. Testing audio. Hello, mic testing. One, two, Hulk smash. And just like that, we've created a full featured video calling application using Zego Cloud. You can explore the SDKs to implement conference calling, live chatting, etc. The possibilities are endless. All the links to Zego Cloud are in the description as well as the pinned comment. So sign up now. Before you go, make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.